Actually, the okay. first one we had, which is more of like an architectural photograph. So, could you talk about, you know, why would people take an image like this as opposed to, let's say, like a more of a, uh, a family portrait or a picture? And yeah, what is the date it for us? Well, the date I'm not sure of, but, but what I do know is that my grandmother was born in this house, mm. and uh, this is in North Carolina. I don't know the specific location, but I, uh, I'm a photographer, so I've become kind of like the family historian, and I. Went to see uh, my mom like last year, so I'm just scanning a bunch of photographs, and she's like, "Oh, this is one that my grandmother, her her mom, just gave her." She's like, "This is the house that she was born in," and my mother lived there for a short time of her life before they moved to New York. But I, but I'm not specific. I, I don't know the the, the date that the, that it was taken. This is a beautiful picture. Yeah, this this picture. Uh, <coughs> this is my dad. Has this again, been this whole, uh, yes, yes, I didn't retouch this one, okay. but uh, this was retouched by uh, a, a guy in New York. Okay. But uh, my dad is, uh, you know, the little kid on the top stairs, the uh -huh. little boy on the top stairs. This image, uh, my sister actually showed me this original picture of my uncle and my aunt sitting next to him. But uh, this picture, like, blew me away when I saw it. And, and uh, because of, you know, my dad, he's 74 now, and he's about six years old in this picture. But uh, when I saw it, I, you know, it, it's just like, it looks like 200 years old to me. I'm just like, well, where did you, who took this image? And he couldn't remember, but uh, when we were growing up in New York, you know, he would always talk about, and, you know, in the North, it's just like the South was down South. You know, it's just like down South. I thought it was just this one place, like down South. Was, <laughs> so, you know, I didn't think it was like Georgia and South Carolina, it's all these different states. And so when I saw this image, I was like, that's down South. You know, it's like, that's, that's where it is, and so when I saw that image, I'm like, I have to have that. And, um, you know, and it, 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 I've never seen an image like this uh, in, in my family archives. Like, it, it, to me, you know, being a photographer, it's, it's really nicely composed, it's well exposed, it, you know, it's, it's a really um, uh, amazing image. And I've never seen an image of my dad that young. There's another image which is, you know, which I haven't seen before, and it's uh, almost seems like a sketch. What is? Uh... This is my dad. This is my dad in the military, uh, sometime in the, I would say the fifties, and uh, he was a paratrooper, uh, special forces. He uh, glamorized uh, the military uh, my whole life. Okay, I have a question. Yes. Um, we were looking at that photograph a little uh, early outside, and I wanted to ask about the patch on his arm, which seems to be um, in the tobacco. Is that right? Uh, no, it's actually an eagle. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's an eagle. Ah, okay. It's like a hundred first airborne. Yeah. Okay. This is the man. That's the man. Could you repeat that? It's a hundred first airborne. Yeah. That's that. That's what that patch means. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. That's impressive. <laughs> So how are you archiving them? What you, uh, well, are, you, are you scared that like you, it's like you, everyone's giving you the treasure? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, being a, uh, being a photographer and going to art schools, I'm like really um, hypersensitive. So I, I put them in acid-free pages, in acid-free boxes, you know, like in a dark closet. And, and I'm about, I'm, I'm like that about my own stuff. And I'm so glad to uh, bought up digital archiving because I have backups of the backup of the back. I mean, it's like I'm really anal retentive about uh, losing images because uh, you know my wife is back there with our two children and they're they're five and two and all of their lives, like 99% of their lives, have been captured digitally. Okay. You know, and it's just like it, it sounds uh, digital sounds like the sophisticated alternative to putting it in a shoebox, mm -hmm. but I, I think that the shoebox method <laughs> has been more uh, effective. 